So anyway, I had to basically clear some storage for myself. Um, my phone, it was kind of compromised as far as that goes. So anyway, um, this is going to be part two. And who knows, I may have to do this all over again. Um, I think because I just, I'm so delete happy and I deleted the last video. <laughs> I don't think I got deleted the first one that I did. But anyway, this is basically going to be what I will eat. Obviously not the whole thing. <laughs> and then this is for them. There's a, there'll be leftovers for them too. Um, so I added the cannelloni. I have a problem saying that. Can cannellini. Cannellini beans. Here. Cannellini. So anyway, I added that. And then um, I'll be right back. Okay, we're at the point where I'm going to add the pasta. Now, I kind of did things wrong. Not wrong, but yeah, I should have added the pasta dry and let it cook in this in this mix here but I actually cooked the pasta ahead of time it's really al dente I did that on purpose anyway I don't think there's any right or wrong way to do anything as far as cooking goes it's all about mixing and matching and alchemy and stuff and um, so I'm gonna add the pasta just give me a minute all right so I added this pasta officially called farfal uh, but it's also known as bow tie pasta to a lot of people. All right, so we're just gonna let that go there, let that cook, and then we're gonna do the same here. So their food is minus all of the herbs except for some oregano. I didn't really, I didn't put any sea salt or pepper, nothing like that. Um, I didn't put any onion or garlic, you know, no tomato sauce. So this is their meal. Cooking very, very nicely. And then this is going to be mine. And I did use the wrong pot of uh, pans, I guess. This is not ideal, but <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> All right, so I think we're getting near the time of plating, so I'm going to pause. So I did dip my finger a couple of times into this, and it's still too hot. And here's mine. Well, not all tonight. <laughs> but anyway, leftovers. I think we're going to have leftovers and hopefully they like it. You're going to get to see if they do actually like it. I, I took the opportunity to clean up the kitchen because I made a pretty much of a mess. And now it's all cleaned up. I'm just waiting for this to cool down. And then we'll be back. So this is part two. And mainly this is about the dogs. And just to kind of go over the ingredients. I have celery, but I removed the string. Basically, you remove the string by cutting in a little bit into the top and you remove it. It's literally stringing, stringy and it's a digestive hazard. It's also a choking hazard. So after removing that, because I researched it and celery is good for dogs, but you got to remove that string. So I did that and actually going forward for me personally, I'm going to be removing the string because I don't like it personally it's always been a nuisance and i real I, I didn't realize you could actually remove it it's easy peasy um we've got some ground beef cannell shoot cannellini cannellini beans we've got carrot um we have far fall far far fall shoot hold on Farfal or farfalle. I don't, know. I don't know how to speak the native tongue of Italy, but farfal. Farfalle pasta, also known as bow tie pasta. 
Um, so carrot, celery, ground beef, cannellini beans, farfalle, pasta. We've got uh, olive oil. We've got um, chicken broth. And it, it's cooled down at this point, so I am going to plate it. Okay, so I have plated their food. I gave more to Oliver, obviously, he's a bigger dog. Now, am I gonna give my dogs pasta every day of the week? <laughs> or every month? No, but I wanted to do something fun. I wanted to see if they've got a little Italian blood in them. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna shut this off. Oh, look who's waiting for their dinner. We got some good. Good eats, hopefully. We got some good eats. <laughs> All right, let me shut that off real quick. All right, there we go. We got an authentic, more authentic look instead of that blaring light. All right, I'm gonna put their food down and their tails are wagging, they're hungry. They've been at my side the whole time. Um, I didn't show them, but here we go. All right, here we are. There's that laundry basket to start the show. I finally did my laundry and put it away. Anyway, guys, I love you so much. And I really put a lot of effort into this. If you don't like it, I'm going to totally remake your food. And don't worry. All right, I love you so much. Philos, Oliver, enjoy! Pasta Fazola! I wish I had Italian music playing in the background. <laughs> oh my god. They're eating it. They're eating their pasta puzzle. I don't think they know what to make of it. Hopefully it's cooled down enough. I did put my finger in there a few times and then I waited even longer after it was cool. Let's see. Uh-oh. Is it okay, Oliver? All right, it looks like they are eating it. it. Looks like we have Chihuahuas eating Italian style. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. And uh, please like, subscribe, and share. We appreciate you. Wow, this is amazing.